Hi again, boys and girls. Just about to go for a two minute walk with Miss Shiloh. Sit. Thank you. Very good. This is just after the other one, so now she's accepted that if she sits, she gets to do something she wants. As soon as that lead gets tight, I stop, take two steps back. Good girl. When she looks around, I walk forward. Lead's tight, two steps back. Now, I'll stick the photograph of when she was a puppy up, boys and girls. That's the same pot, just to let you know. That's amazing. How does the saying go? They grow up. So she's a good girl. She obviously gets a little hyperactive at this door. That's her trigger to when she can start to be silly. Like now. So because I ignored her and we didn't get to go to the door, she came over and jumped up. Now what she's going to do in a second and she's going to figure out that if she sits, she gets to go back near the door. When they come and lean against your leg, it's not necessarily a, a loving situation. It's generally cautious, apprehensive, or control. So in her case, she's not scared, as we can see from her mouth and her face and her happiness, bouncy. She's just a little uh, pushy. So you're going to come here and sit? Thank you. When you're ready. So she's walking away, but she's clearly indicating what she wants. Go to the door. Come. Good come. Sit. Touch the back, not on top. Don't push down on their hips. That puts too much pressure on their back. Touch the back of their legs. Sit, or stand straight up. Give them targets. Take two steps away from what they want. And start again. Good girl. Uh-uh, sit. Charlie, come. Seems like a lot of work to get the dog to sit just initially, but Basically, by getting the control inside of this fence, you get it when you go outside. Come. Good, come. Sit. Here. Wait. When you're ready. I'm here. Sit, and we'll go. No. I'm over here. Good calm. Reward the calm. Redirect and ask again. Shadow. Come. Sit. She's got the lead around the tail just there. You might see. So that was concerning us, so she started to get cautious. Good calm. Hey. Shala. Oh, we'll go further away. Still focusing on that gate. So instead of getting upset and wondering why, sit. Sit. Come. Good sit. So you've got to sit with pushiness and control and a flop on the ground. So it's finally she sat without me having to do anything apart from move probably three times away. She's still focusing and she's being naughty. So come here and sit. Good, come. 
Sit. So the lead's touching the back of a leg. She's just being a brat. Sit. Come. Wait. It's on your leg, not mine. Come here. Sit. Hi. Thank you. Very good. So it might take you a while to go back and forward till you get to the gate. I'm going to get a little lady down here because she wants to lay down because she's tight. Good. Ah. Don't jump up. Don't lay down with them. I direct them where you want them. Shana. Yeah. Good girl. Good sit. Lay down. Good lay down. Stay. Stay. Lay down. Uh -uh. So once it starts to become a game, stop it. Reset. Come. Wait. Sit. Once the game's finished, you reset, start again, get her focus, lay down. Charlie. Lay down. Good girl. Lay down. When you're ready. Lay down. Thank you. So it's just a matter of, I've also got my foot on the lead so she can't jump up on me at that time. I just kept my hand on the ground. Eventually she does it. So that's all she needs. She's had a little training session, probably 10, 15 minutes. Next time we come, she's good, we go out the gate. Good girl. Come. Thank you. So that's just walking with when that lead gets tight, stopping, turning around, going a different direction. And so then she corrects herself with it. Sometimes. Charlie. Thank you. Good girl. Charlie, good girl. So instead of us playing tug of war all the way to the gate, it's now nice and calm. Righto, boys and girls, take care. Good girl. Charlie, sit. Quick, sit. Sit. Quick. Thank you. So she's still cautious, but we've got what we wanted back near the gate. A lot calmer. Take care, boys and girls.